Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created our new insurance dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page of this dashboard. Here we are showing the number of policies and total premium amount, total claim amount for those policies, average premium amount per policy as well as average claim amount per policy. So here we are showing the some dummy information. You can change this with your original data. Then in this section, we are showing the number of policies by policy type. And this is the total premium by the region. And here we are showing the claim status summary, wherein we are showing the total claim amount by the different status of the claim. We are showing here number of policies month over month. We have taken the data for whole year that is 2024. You can change this data as per your requirement and then you can just refresh this dashboard. This will be ready. On the right hand side, we have given few slicers to filter the data. First, we have given for the gender. So you can select the female to see the all policies for the female customers. And if you select male, then it will show the all policies for the male customers. Here you can select the policy type like you want to see the auto policy, health insurance or the life insurance only or the travel insurance. So you can decide what you would like to see accordingly all the charts and the top numbers will be filtered. Here we have the claim status like not claimed. So you can see the number of policies which is not claimed or the claim is pending or it is approved or it is rejected. OK, so you can see the whole information as well as you can filter by the regions also. So you can select East region, South region, then every chart will be filtered. On the right hand side, we have given here navigation buttons. We are currently seeing the overview page. If you would like to see the policy analysis, you can simply click on this button. Now it has taken us to the policy analysis page. Here we are showing the number of policies by the region in this donut chart as well as we are showing the percentage of the contribution as well for that particular region. And we are showing the actual number of policies all. Then here in this chart we are showing the number of policies by the type and by the age group. We have created the age group of the customers and you can see the number of policies uh, by different policy type like the home uh, insurance or the life insurance or the travel insurance or the health insurance so you can see that information for example the age range is 38 to 47 the uh, this type of customers are taking maximum auto insurance or we can say if the age is 58 to 67 maximum pop population is taking the this one which is home insurance now we have given here number of policies by the top sales agents so we are calculating the performance of sales agents also here we are showing the top sales agent by and the number of policies sold by them so again you can filter by the slicer for example if you would like to see only female customers information or the male customers or if you want to see the region by so you can select the region so as you would like to filter you can do that you can add more slicers also we will show you how you can add that now let me go to the claim analysis page so let's click here now it has taken us to the claim analysis page wherein we are showing the number of claims by age group and the gender so here we are showing the female and male count of the claims and this is age group Okay, at bottom here we are showing the number of claims by the policy type so you can see the number of claim by the policy type this is claim amount by the region so here you can see the claim amount by the region and this is the number of claims by the month now I will show you the other page also that is revenue analysis in the revenue analysis we are showing the premium amount so premium amount collected by the uh, different policy type here we have the different policy type this is the total amount in the thousands okay and here we are showing the reason wise premium amount uh, collected as well as what was the total claim amount of those policies so you can see that also 
Now here we are showing the month monthly premium amount trends by the month. So you can see the month by month trend and you can easily see in which month we are getting the high premium or we are getting the low premium. Here we have the premium amount by the top five sales agents. You can see that information. Again, you can filter by the uh, gender, male or female uh, customer or you can select uh, policy type or the claim status or whatever you want. Now the last page is the agent performance page. Here you can see the policy sold by the agents. So you can see this information of all the agents are appearing here and you can see the policy sold by them. This is the claim handling by the agent. So uh, these are the total claims and here you can see the status of the claims also. Okay, again you can filter with the different slicers. Now I will show you the data and the some support sheet which we have created to create this dashboard. So first let's go to the file and options. Then go to the advance and just scroll it down. And just click on this checkbox that is so see tabs and just click on OK. Now we can see the various seat tabs are appearing here. Okay, so these are all seat tabs and we have data seat tab. So let me show you the data. In the data, we are capturing policy ID, customer name, gender, age, policy type, policy start date, policy end date. Then we are calculating here premium amount, the claim amount of that policy, claim status, region, sales agent name, and we have put two formulas also to calculate the month and the year. Okay. Now I will show you the support sheet which we have created. Here we have the support pivot tables for the overview page. So these all the pivot tables you can see that. Now I will show you some other information also like here we have the policy analysis related pivot table. Then we have created claim analysis related pivot table. Then here we have created revenue analysis related pivot table. This is the agent performance related pivot table. You can change these pivot table as per your requirement and you can change the charts also. So you can come to the any of the seat and this seat is the protected seat. So what you can do, you can just go to the review and just unprotect this. Click on unprotect seat. Now this seat is unprotected and you are able to select the chart. Now these all are the pivot charts we have created using this support seat and let's say for this one I want to create a chart so you can just go to the insert and insert a chart. Let's say I want to insert the pie chart so let's take this pie chart. Now here you can further modify this as per your requirement so you can just select here go to the pivot chart analyze field button and select here hide all and you can move this to the bottom or you can delete this also if you want add the data labels just right click on the data label go to the format data label and then you can move this outside end right click and go to the format data label again and just show the category names also or if you want to show the percentage, you can show the percentage also. So that is how we have created these all charts. You can further change this as you want. For example, you can select this and then you can select the pie and then go to the design or go to the format. And from here, safe effects. Let's take some bevel, this one. So this will look more smoother. You can take our Udemy course to learn how to create such type of beautiful charts and the dashboard using the pivot table. The link of the course is given in the description box. In this course, we are giving all the practice files free of cost. So once you purchase this course, you will get the access of all the practice file, all the charts and the dashboard which we have created inside this. So we will give you for the practice everything. Okay, so the link is given in the video description box. You can get this at the discounted rate. Now, you can simply move this chart to any other seat wherever you want. Okay. About the navigation pen which we have created, this is nothing but the simple Excel shapes. Here you can see this is the rectangle shapes. We just have filled some color. You can change this as you want. 
and we have placed some other rectangle shapes here this is again the rectangle shape this is another rectangle shape and here we have put the hyperlinks if you right click and go to the edit link then you can see we have put this for the overview page and for this one just right click the another one and just click on the edit link here you can see it is taking you to the policy analysis page so that is how we have created everywhere now coming to the slicer part so what we have done from the support seed you can simply click anywhere and you can insert any slicer whatever you want just click on the slicer and uh, then let's say i want to select the slicer for gender just click on that you can insert multiple slicer also let's say i want to take here two columns and then you can further create your custom design also as per the theme if you want if you see here we have created this custom design let me explain you how you can create that we have explained this in our course thoroughly so you can see how to customize the slicers timeline charts pivot table everything okay so let me give you the quick idea so let's say if you have selected any preset style you can just right click on that and make it a duplicate from the whole slicer go to the format and let's say i want to take the font size as 8 and i don't want to take any border so i'm saying none click on ok for the selected item with data i can take some fill color whichever i want so i will go to the fill effects and let's say i want to take from the more color some kind of teal color this one and here also you can take the same teal color you can make this more darker from here click on ok and let's take this variant click on ok ok you can select similarly for the no data also but i'm not doing right now just click on ok now that new style will appear and you can select that automatically that formatting will be applied to your slicer now if you insert more slicers and then same formatting can be applied there let's say for policy type and claim status region sales agent so you can create that and you can simply select the slicer and from here you can just click on that immediately that slicer style will be applied which will map with your theme which you have created for that dashboard all right so that is how we have created this dashboard friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching